Okay, and welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. So I'm back at our base. I ended up putting a um, storage container in here. We unlocked that just a second ago, um, but I realized I didn't have my um, recording software set up properly. So missed that little part. We didn't do too much, just put that container down. And I was talking about uh, finding some tech modules, uh, which I think there are still some around here. Uh, we'll need to see if we can't locate some of those. Um, yeah, there's one over there. It's only 300 away. Uh, we got some oxygen. Should be able to get over there just fine. Oof. Yeah, that's actually pretty far distance. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt it. And um, we'll see if we can't get all the way up there. Grab those tech modules. We need them for a piece to build on. A lot of those creatures around on this planet. Okay, we're pretty much there. I just need to get closer. Don't know if we scanned everything on this planet either. Might be able to uh, check some stuff out. Okay, we're right here now. Perfect, all right. Hopefully that gave us a good number. Head back to the base and We'll get what we need for that base part. Not sure if we have um, enough c carbon. No, we don't. Okay. Just grab this quickly and then we should be able to make it back in time. We're almost there. Yeah. We have plenty of time. Should make it in time. I think that was the last one in around this area too. So if we need more of those um, modules, we're going to have to go out a little bit further. Thank you. 
Alright, so I went mining, but for my starship, actually, it was actually kind of an interesting thing. I flew low enough where the red giant crystals would show up, and I knew that there was some that were basically mineable with a ship. So if I got close enough, I could actually mine up some car uh, concentrated carbon, which I got enough, and we already have enough uh, magnetized ferrite to build a battery. So I we're all set up for that. We can just uh, plop one of these down now and place that um place it over here i guess we can always move it later if we need to and we'll hook that up to our grid and now we should start generating a little bit of power um we're only using like 25 power for the cargo container and the um solar or the um what do you call the teleporter so it's only like 50% of what our solar panel generates so we should have enough even if night is like a 50 50 of the um, the daytime of the the day night cycle for the area and the area does actually depend on where you are um, if you're more at a certain location in the world it will vary depending on how much light you get per day which is actually kind of really cool all right, so the next thing that we needed to do was, well, we should probably drop some of this stuff off now. We don't need that on us. Um, I did get a lot of ferrite from mining as well. And uh, we can put the concentrated carbon in there. I'll probably put that in there as well. We don't really need that. We'll put that in there and yeah, we'll put that in there too. All right, so that leaves that stuff on us, and we need to go to the space station to get, um, what do you call it, some tech upgrades so we can continue the base mission. So we'll do that right now, now that our portal's working. <laughs> but, um, all right, so I needed to get some of those tech ones. I can't remember what they're called. So we'll go here and... That's actually really expensive. Let's uh, try going to a different solar system and seeing if we can't get a little bit of a lower price. Because that's like f plus 14 in price, 14% uh, in price. So there are systems that have a little bit less. I'm not sure if we can get a better deal or not from that. But we'll, we'll give it a try. Uh, we, we've discovered like three systems so far. So or maybe two. Maybe we've only gone to two stations. Okay, uh, no, these are the other two. Okay, so we'll go to the previous one and then to the other one if depending on Great. So there was a little bit of a technical issue with recording. I noticed that um, while I was editing, I ended up uh, just scrapping that clip because I must have clicked off the screen by accident and it basically froze frame the game. But I got a lot of stuff done. So I still have some stuff that I need to do in today's recording. So I'll just continue what we're working on and pick up from there. So. 
Um, we need to get two wiring looms, and I'm not sure if our base is getting all the power during the night, like, if it has enough power during the night. I want to keep an eye on that, uh, and see if we need another solar panel, because we are in kind of a, like, a valley area, and I'm not sure if we're getting the amount of sunlight that we would need normally, so... And based on the planet location, we might actually get more night than day. So I need to keep an eye on that just to make sure that we can get away with one solar panel. If not, then we will definitely need two per battery, I think. Or something like that. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll figure it out eventually. Um, actually, I'm not sure if we have power right now. Probably not. We'll just go to the space station. And... Then we'll warp from there. I need a couple tech modules to get the remaining, or get the upgrade that we need. So head over there. Mark that on our GPS. And, oh yeah, that's gonna be a long distance, isn't it? Well, we did go mining, so we have uh, extra fuel if we need it, so. I left about 300 in my ship, so we would be able to um, travel a bit easier. But yeah, definitely we probably need to keep an eye on that power situation. And once we get there, then we will be able to warp to another system and get a discount price on tech modules. We need two of them. So we'll do that right now. Shouldn't take too long, I hope. Alright, so now we just need to figure out what galaxy I need, or solar system I need to go to in order to get those parts. Uh, what am I Alright, so we got a lot more progress done. I got up to a point where we don't have the resources to um, continue. 
uh, working on the base, we're gonna need to find uh, a couple things. Uh, need metal plates, which are pretty easy to come by. It's the paraffinium, which is a little bit harder to find um, currently. We might be able to find some on the space station. We'll have to look around and see if any of the uh, merchants sell it. Um, but we need 50 of it in order to progress. I unlocked the lights, which I did have another one there, but I removed this and it kind of took it away. So we have lights now and uh, what was it? The appearance modifier, which costs 10, but it actually drains like a lot of power. So I'll probably be removing that. And yeah, that's basically as far as I got. Uh, put another light in though, because it's a little bit dark in here. Right there. this up perfect all right so outside of that uh we got quite a bit of stuff done we also got the shield lattice which gives us plus 20 percent uh hazard protection battery so we should be able to last a little bit longer for being out in the cold and stuff and what else did we work on we got the jetpack thing earlier starship got the negative 20 percent uh launch cost so we got that installed and we also got the automatic recharging um a while ago from the ano space anomaly so it charges up automatically so it's perfect and um i think we put the teleporter receiver in today as well so got lots of stuff done pretty happy with the progress and i also finished up repairing that ship uh that we found a while back and we can scrap it or turn it into cash or whatever for um, later on. So outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.